Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. And this one, two teams from Conference USA squaring off in a weekday clash to set the table for the weekend ahead. As we'll see, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers taking on a team recharged after a much-needed bye week, the Kennesaw State Owls. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock. Line gets set, first down. The give to the single back. Discards a man. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Come on, set. They'll try the right side. Pirouettes through. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Ready, Halfway right. there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Kent. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They were able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Igloo! Igloo! From the gun, wants to pass. 
fires to the tight end. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Well, they picked up the first hand zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Running back searching for a hole. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Moves. They'll give it to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Get set, get set. From the gun, wants to pass. He's right on target. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. I mean, good. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Kent. He's brought down quickly. Minimal game there. Still a bit short of the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And now on second down for this offense. Here we go. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. On the 
They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Clear. Clear. They think there's room to run to the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now, all the stemming, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this runner. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. about to snap it on second down. Leaves it with the running back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. And that quarterback knew the counter run was going to work on that play because he counted the box defensively before the snap. He saw that he had an advantage in numbers and blockers getting a hat on a hat, so he knew that was a green light. As soon as he got the snap, off they go, and it's an explosive play. Okay, ready? They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Let's go! Wants to throw on third down. Makes the catch! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone. They're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch him off guard, and now they've got first and goal. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. Slam. They're trying to slam it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. 
You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Nine yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Direct snap. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Here we go. They'll immediately call timeout. Timeout, Kennesaw State. Ready, ready. Looking for a productive play on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. He's looking to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to the big tight end. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Oh, what a great play by the defense. Listen. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Yeah, and great job getting in the backfield, making it very difficult to him to make reads and understand what the heck's going on, bottling him up. That's the biggest thing. When you play a running quarterback, you want to bottle him up. You want to set those edges really, really firm and make him turn back inside where all the big boys are coming and you don't let that speed get to the outside. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Man, it's so nice to have a quarterback who doesn't flinch. You watch it, man. He's hanging in there, right? Hanging in there. Takes some time for those routes to get down the field. Gets hit as he throws it, but delivers the ball, a catchable ball down the field, and makes the big play. Nice toughness by that young man. Okay, ready? Offense threatening. First and 10 from the 31. Jack He's going to pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. And here comes the offense on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. Fires to the big fella. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I th Just enough time for one final play of the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. The pass is incomplete, and one second is left. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing. Amen. 
Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They started this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. 100%. Just, you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job by the defense. A lot of times offenses want time to mesh that RPO and read it. Nah, the defense got in there so fast, they didn't give him an option. Got the nice tackle for a loss, putting the offense in a worse situation. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. Firing to the right, complete. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. That's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. After the five-yard step off, first and 15 for this offense. They go to the counter. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. The delay of game pushes the offense back. On the Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down. Get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back, and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? This is a third and long. Easy. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He's got an open man. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Ready. 
This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. 29-Philly, 2-9-Philly. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Here comes the offense on second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. It's caught downfield. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a... Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Lasso! Lasso! Might as well give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping him up, getting him on the ground, take away that run game, make him one-dimensional, put him in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Come on, set. Baby. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Ready? Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They believe they can run right here. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Finds his back in the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting him the football, letting him get some positive yards. After the short completion, do they go for the big one on third down? Get set, get set. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle, it's Kent. So close to that end zone, he can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. You saw the tight end on a big play there in that last third down. Why not go back to him again here in the red zone with his size and his athleticism? He is a matchup nightmare down in this area of the field. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. You don't give a hoot. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You've put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll go right back to it. And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Here we go. The snap sets up the throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right. You don't force a short-yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch. Make the run. Get the first down. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Cricket. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Green 25. Uh. Using his legs, it's Ashley. 
He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. the end of the quarter it's Kennesaw State on top and as we switch ends of the field let's take a quick look at the national rankings one more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory we'll get this quarter going with a second down play It's a draw. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Slam. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. Ready, ready. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. Ten. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Let's go! Baby. Just feeds the running back. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Balls at the 17. And they have converted their first two third down opportunities, but this one a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. 
This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. This offense has a second down play. Easy. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Here we go. He wants to throw. And they can't make the connection. Hey, you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. You don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. The aerial assault continues. He makes a catch. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is ready to give him a first down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Come on, set. They'll run it from the gun. Open space at the 25. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Fresh legs, man. And it is showing, of course. This team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game. Running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. Ready. Kennesaw right. State coming out with another first down. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. With the catch, it's Bond. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Easy! From the gun, running back gets the give. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Ready. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. He's looking to pass. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Owls! They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring.
Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Quarterback checking the play. They'll run it to the right. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Off the play fake. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up this scoreboard. The offense knocking on the door, first and goal. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. It's complete! Touchdown, Kennesaw State! And the punishment has been extended. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. The assault enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. This yeah. offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After picking up a couple at second and eight. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. The give is a work on that clock. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Okay. Now facing a third and long. Twenty-nine Philly. Two-nine Philly. To the ground with the bat, and sure oh, tackling there right. to keep him from getting to the He's first down there. marker. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had... On 
first down here for the offense. Lasso! Lasso! The give to the tailback. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense, run to the ball. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, keep the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys have put together a winning streak. They sure have. But man, they're just believing in themselves right now. This is a completely different looking team than what we saw early in the year. They're playing with so much more confidence. And David, when you start making plays, you start stringing W's together, that's obviously what happens. Everybody gets energized. Everybody starts to contribute. Young guys start to grow up. Coaches start to believe in them. Everything starts to turn around and swing the other way. They got it all going in the right direction. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Blue.